If children are indeed our future, then after hearing our next story, you will agree that our world is in pretty good shape. It has everything to do with paying it forward. And Holly Morris joins us live in studio to tell us more. Hey, Hal. Hey, good to see you all. Listen, it's often been said that everything you really need to know, you learned in kindergarten. For Rachel Harris, never have truer words been spoken. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Hello. You're gonna meet everybody. And her name is Rachel. She loves playing with her dog Cricket. Riding on her bike and swinging as high as she can. Well, pretty typical for an 11 year old. But typical never makes for a good page turner. Um, it started when I was kindergarten and my teacher read our class a book and it was called, Have You Filled the Bucket Today? Everyone in the whole wild world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. And when you were nice to that person, it would fill their bucket with good feelings. You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. Something just sort of clicked in my head, and I was like, this is what I want to do. And so she did. At the ripe old age of six, with a little help from mom, Rachel started her own company called Let's Help Kids. Let's Help Kids is something that allows kids to feel like kids. It was started by a kid to help other kids feel like they're still normal like all of their friends and not lacking in some fashion just because their families are in tight situations. For example, a teacher will call us and they'll tell us like, oh, this little boy, he really, really wants this bike for Christmas and but he could never get it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's got thick wheels. I like that one. Okay. Yeah. And we'll go online and we'll search for bikes and we'll search for a kind that he might like. Mm. Ooh, that one can match the bike. Yeah. Yeah, you like that one? Mm -hmm. And we'll buy it. Has add to cart. And then we'll give it to them. That's cool. Done. All right. Oh yeah, I like the part. Their first year, they helped 30 kids. Now, five years in, they're up to 1,200. 610 this past year alone, several whom go to Forest Elementary in Springdale, Virginia. Get on the swing, hurry up. Here at our school, about half of our students qualify for free and reduced lunch. So I make referrals to Let's Help Kids. They've helped our students go to summer camp, um, go to the movies, have a pool pass and learn how to swim, uh, soccer, cleats such simple things, but it makes such a difference for my students. Liz Rivera is a social worker at the school and believes so much in Rachel's company that she was one of the keynote speakers at this year's Let's Help Kids fundraising gala. Let's Help Kids came through with cleats, shin guards, socks, and shorts. And when we, when I gave them to him the other day, his smile just lit up my office, he didn't stop smiling all day long. The only thing perhaps more moving that night than Liz's testimonial was the company's founder herself. If you want to know where all of your money goes during this entire thing, it all goes to help the kids. Now 11, her commitment to the cause is as evident as ever, as is her business savvy. We love all your generosity for this, and we'd also like for you to keep being generous during the auction coming up. Bye bye, we get by where? I get four and a half, four and a half. Twenty thousand dollars, the amount raised at the gala that night. But Rachel's fundraising efforts don't stop there. She also organizes an ice cream for breakfast day, an art auction for happiness, and then there's her informational video. I invite you to become part of our bucket brigade like my friends back here. A pint-sized philanthropist in every sense of the word. I think what keeps me going is that I can imagine how happy they are and how they feel. Like when I get a new toy, it makes me feel really excited because I'm excited to play with it. I'm excited to use it and I can tell by being a kid, I can tell that that's how they would feel. A feeling Rachel hopes in turn will then inspire them to also get into the swing of things. Well, my theory was we want to help them and we want them to realize how much they felt, how good they felt and we want them to have the, give that same feeling to other kids and just have it go all around. A lesson in paying it forward straight from a playground. <laughs> making the most of our day, aren't we? Yeah. This is nice. This is fun. The end.
Hey guys, you know, when you have a child with cancer or a child with special needs, hope can be really hard to come by. And that's why the team that you are about to meet is so incredible. This story highlights four paws, P-A-W-S, but I hope it will also give you paws and perhaps even inspire you to pay it forward. Here, you lay with Beamer. Lay with Beamer. And I'll come in on this lay. side. Okay, here we go. Should I lay with Beamer too? Yeah. This is no ordinary story time. I'm on my way, says the big busy tug. It's a play busy date tug. with oh, a purpose. Tug. Where are all the fish? Oh, there they are. He does better with Beamer than he would with another child. Right there. Oh. You hear the way they, they talk. He, he talks to him like he's Beamer. a little person. Beamer. Nico is seven, and it's fair to say faces many challenges. And what do you do with that brush? You're calm it. Nice and gentle. He's autistic, oh hearing impaired, God. and almost legally blind, just to name a few. And while most would label him special needs, I would argue what's truly special about him is his spirit. He's had a lot, but he is a love, and he's just the happiest little thing. Especially when these two are around. Here, come right over here and give him a great big hug. Aww. Dominique Dupra and Beamer are an officially certified pet therapy team and the dynamic duo behind Paws to Care. Here, our goal is, is to help children who are frightened sort of transcend their illness or their fear and just be typical kids for a little while. Dominique runs the nonprofit out of her home in Falls Church. But Florida is really where it all began when she was volunteering in a halfway house with her then puppies, Taylor and Beamer. And a little girl just was very closed off. And I sat Beamer on her lap. And I said, sweetie, you can tell Beamer anything. He won't interrupt you. He won't judge you. He won't tell anyone your secrets. And she proceeded to confide in him about the things her father had done to her. And that's where Paws Care found our heartbeat. Seven and a half years later, that same healing heart beats louder than ever. It's noise, it's, it's like breathing to me. Be if Beamer and I don't get to help somebody every single day, I don't, I, I don't sleep well. And so, a day begins. First up, FaceTime with Tyler, a seven-year-old battling cancer in Memphis, Tennessee. How did your appointment go today? Good. Dominique met Tyler and his mom when she and Beamer went to visit St. Jude Hospital. I didn't realize how much a therapy dog meant until we actually met Beamer. This dog and this wonderful woman come into our life and, you know, change the course of the entire day and change the course of how his treatment has been. Treatment that's been going on now for two years, but much easier to tolerate thanks to a four-legged friend. Tell me what you love about Beamer. Um, he is very nice, he's awesome, he's awesome, he's mega awesome. <laughs> Call complete, Bye. it's time to head out. Come on, come on. Good boy. All right, you ready? Come on, let's do this. Can Beamer come in? Seven-year-old Elizabeth is another one of Beamer's playmates. Can you play him like a drum? Pat, 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 pat. She has chronic medical and health issues. She's vision and hearing impaired, and she is homebound right now because of immunity issues. Which is why Dominique and Beamer come to her. They've only been working with Elizabeth since last October, but the difference this dog team has made is more than evident. We have a child that no one really thought would, able to, but would be able to do much of anything who's taught herself to read. She can type. Do you want to tell us something? B. E. M. And she can dance. <laughs> when Beamer's with Elizabeth that um, they're kind of building a bonding friendship, which is really meaningful to us to see um, Elizabeth kind of interact and communicate. A conversation that is felt rather than heard. A sentiment this family is not alone in sharing. Beamer's next stop to see Helen, her boys, and Bochy. Hey, guys. 
He just wants to be near you. He wants to love on you and he wants you to love on him. Boji is Helen's Beamer, thanks to Dominique who found the Vishla to help Helen and her family cope. He certainly makes the dark of night when everybody else is asleep much more bearable. You see, Helen has survived cancer twice and is gearing up to battle it yet again. Beamer will actually go with Helen to CAT scans and chemo. Boji will be there when she gets home. The fact that they love you unconditionally um, when you're feeling down, there's really nothing that Western or Eastern medicine can do for you that a dog can do. Which brings us back to Nico and the can-do attitude Beamer and Dominique inspire in him. Two, one, yeah. two. Yeah! Where are your ears? One, two. She's like not just the dog whisperer, but the child whisperer, and it really is. It's a great um, thing that she does this. Yeah. And she does it for free. Play dates all paid for by tireless fundraising. Ready? High five. Yeah. Yeah. Because for Dominique and Beamer, paying it forward is simply about taking the time to pause to care. Hope and care are beautiful elixirs. And, you know, this is not a data-based organization. Yeah, we've put in over 10,000 hours last year, but that's not what counts. It's that one moment where they just have this connection and it really changes a child's life. Beamer, can I keep him? I brought him. Nico's not the only one that gets to use P Beamer as a pillow. Look who's live in our studio this morning. Beamer, you are amazing. Now, Beamer didn't get here alone. <laughs> he didn't drive to our studios. Uh, this is David Duprat. This is Dominique's dad. He graciously brought Beamer into our studio. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And he had to bring him in because Miss Dominique happens to be in Memphis this morning. She's at St. Jude visiting and she's joining us via Skype. Dominique, are you there? I'm here. It is so good to see you and thank you so much for the work that you're doing.